What's up, guys? What's up? Back here in Arsenal Studios, uh, your man Q here with my man Rory. How's What's going? going on, brother? Uh, hey, fix your headphones, man. Wait, you think you're cool or something? I think I'm man? super cool. Fix your headphones, yeah, fine, man. Fine, whatever. Hey, guys, back here to show you some more cool, cool items here. We got some new Molot Vepers. I know that Molots. doesn't happen often, but we got some new Molot Vepers. Tell us what we got, more. Well, we got in front of me. <laughs> Right here. I called you Maury. You call me. <laughs> don't call me. Anyways, we got the 243 right here in front of me, and it's obviously all DMR'd out. Uh, you got the 6.5 Grendel in front of yeah, you, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Love the Grendel. Love the Grendel. I want to address a question before anybody even brings it up in the comments. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, here we go. Because you know, everybody go. last time was like, oh, new Moloch Vepers. Here you guys go again. Well, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys right now because we get this question all the time, honest. almost every day. So what we have for Moloch Vepers is all we have. That's it. That's all we have. We only have a limited amount of Molot Vepers left. Back to the back, back to the back subject. To let's talk here. about these Molots. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do so, it. So uh, I'm just going to kind of kick it off a little bit because obviously this looks a lot different than the last time you probably seen a Molot Vepper in two four three, right? So last time you guys probably seen these was in the Woodstock form. Woodstock so, with the thumb hole. Right. And I want to press on the fact that this is DNA from an RPK. DNA from an RPK. Did you just make that up? Did you just rhyme? No, that's okay. true. DNA right. from the RPK. Okay. Like, so let me tell I, you. I like, what, I like let me tell rhyme. you about that DNA then. So you got your <laughs> extended barrel trunnion right here, right? Obviously, you can tell that's that's pretty thick, and it comes back pretty far than a normal trunnion would on an AK. You're also looking at a millimeter and a half uh, stamped receiver versus a millimeter stamped receiver. You're also looking at a heavy barrel. Same thing with the RPK. You get a heavy barrel. Um, yeah. You know, th this thing's going to last forever, three, four times, you know, the yeah. amount that you usually would get out of a normal AK. Yeah, you're talking the, the Vepper. I mean, the, the RPK especially. That's that's, yeah, the, that's military style. Military so grade. you got an AK platform that's already going to last you, you know, forever. Now you have an RPK style, which is going to last even longer than that. So you're literally talking about generational weapons here, guys. Oh, yeah. Generational, passed down, especially, you know, the, the Grendel, the 243. You know, they're more hunting. You can pass these Long down range to your calibers. Sons. You can pass these down to your sons. You can pass these down to your grandsons. You know, so it's 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 not so much the caliber. The caliber's been around. It's not like we're re proven, reinventing proven. the wheel. The Grendel's been around. The 243's been around. But what hasn't been around is those calibers on the, the AK platform. The Molot Vepper yeah. platform even more so. Even Yeah, even more so on the Molot platform. So Yeah, and, and, and let's not forget some of the other stuff that we got going on in this gun as well, Q. Um, we also have the AK-20 style uh, muzzle brake, which is yeah. uh, M14 by 1. Uh, so you can put your own muzzle brake on there, do your own suppressor. Suppressor ready. Suppressor you know, ready. Anything you want. Definitely. Um, and let's also talk, Q, I think you know a little something about this adapter back here, don't so you? So it's pretty Tell cool. Tell me about it. Pretty cool, guys, if you want to check this out. So... Right off the bat, one thing that, that I love, actually, if you guys aren't familiar with it, the uh, the SM13 here, uh, scope mount, it's a amazing piece of machinery. So this is a one-piece uh, aluminum aircraft grade, grade yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, one-piece CNC machined for your scope mount. So there's not multiple pieces that can fail. It's literally is one piece. One piece. All right, guys, a lot of people don't know this, but this is actually a military-grade piece. If they used it and loved it, it's definitely good enough for you guys. And the thing that I think that Rory was talking about, like this is amazing, especially for a Grendel. Not the old school wood thumb hole, but look at this stock. Ready, any AR-15, AR-10 platform stock, collapsible, ready to go. Um, I think any stock can go in there, right, Rory? Yeah, yeah, something worth mentioning about uh, this piece here is obviously this was a custom designed piece here in house because you have that big slant on the receiver there that normally the wood stock would go on. But right now we actually have it set up so it has, you know, the AR-15 um, buffer tube and it will take any mil spec stock. And the one question I That's got cool. recently was, will it take a PRS stock? I really like the style of the rifle. You know, oh, I definitely. maybe kind of want to make it more of a DMR. Will it take a PRS stock? Yes, there's actually a hole in the back of uh, the adapter here that will let you put a PRS stock on this weapon if you so choose. Definitely. Well, look, I think we gave them enough. I think you guys need to check it out. Uh, go to k-var.com. Check out Fine Group because they are the, the great company that's uh, bringing well, hold, these in. Hold up, Q. That's not all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not all. Uh-oh. That's that not all. That's not all, Q. <laughs> um, <laughs> what you got? You know, there's actually some more versions of this weapon coming out soon, too. Oh. That's my man. That's we're, my we're, man. We're going to hold back. I ain't going to give you any secrets. That's my man. But all I got to say is we got you know something what? coming. You know we got what? something I, I, coming actually, else besides this, too. You know what? A, a good piece that I'm glad you brought that up, because not only are there uh, more versions coming out, but they're also offered not just in 
the uh, what the twenty and a half, twenty and a half. So um, in the Grindle, you got the sixteen and a half, you got the twenty and a half, and the twenty three point two. So uh, definitely, I mean, it's an amazing weapon, guys. It's it's a proven caliber, right? Uh, now it's a proven caliber that's being tagged onto a proven platform with the Vepper. So check these out. Do your research. It's an amazing, amazing thing to add to your collection. And uh, we'll oh wait, that's not all. Oh my God! I'm gonna give him another one. <laughs> oh my God! I'm gonna give him one more thing before this I forget. Guy has to be stopped. I'm gonna give him one more thing. He's crazy. Oh man, come on! You know I could talk about this one for hours. <laughs> all right, one last thing I'm gonna give you guys. Not two. One. That's what he one said last, last thing. That's what he said last. Everybody time. knows the Five Trigger Group, right? You can't get a great trigger group anymore because recently a company that shall remain nameless went out of business. So now everybody <laughs> wants that Five Trigger Group, right? Well, you would think, oh man, I'm gonna have to put a Five Trigger Group in there. No, you're not. Because guess what? You it got one already in here. with it, people. So this has that nice take up, and then you hit that wall, bam, solid break. All right. I think we need to show that. Let, let's do a close-up on that because okay. I think you guys really need to appreciate the take up and the break on this. Let's, let's show them. Here we go. Nice take up, wall, break. All right, guys. So listen. We've told you about these amazing guns. I don't think you need to hear anymore. Check it out for yourself. Check but, it out. But you know what we want? Hit us up. Yeah, hit us up. No, no, hold Questions. on. Questions? Nah. Uh-oh. We keep getting bombarded with oh, emails. Bombarded. We, we, bombarded. <laughs> we actually like hearing from everybody every day, you know. We love we, it. We love engaging with you guys. We love hearing your feedback on everything. And, you know, we've gotten so many questions over the last couple of weeks that I think we're just going to end up doing a segment just hey, on questions alone. I, and we're I happy like to do that for you. I like that idea. So, so hit get us your questions up, now. Hit yeah. us up. We're shooters. You're shooters. Women, kids, men, yep. we're yep. all learning. Nobody's better than anybody. We're all learning. So yeah. hit us up from the most basic questions to the most advanced ones. Yeah, and if we don't know them, we'll get answers to oh, them. Oh, yeah, we'll always get those answers. We'll right. go downstairs and we'll beat up the engineers ourselves <laughs> if we have to. You know, they're all in right. their little cubby holes and stuff. We'll get them. <laughs> but uh, don't forget, you know, Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. Just reach out to us. We're more than happy to talk to you. Pigeons. P yeah, Pony Pigeon Carrier Express. works too. Yeah, Pigeon Whatever Carrier. Whatever you got, hit us up. We love you guys. Love we'll you see guys. See you next time. See you next time.